to know what sunlight will do to a comic? Well, this is going to be a very important video to watch. Stay tuned. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And I want to make a video that may change the mind of a bunch of people who I've seen in so many videos over the years who proudly, and I understand why, like to display their comics, and I got another good tale for you, <laughs> like to display their comics on their walls. And this could be even a lesson for comic book stores as well. Uh, for their shelf comics, because I want to show you what the sun will do to your comics. So I wanted to, first of all, pick one that wasn't any kind of key issue or anything that was a comic that, you know, no Hulk win 81s or anything. I'm not going to ruin a very valuable comic. So this is one that, I mean, you're going to find in the dollar bin. It's not anything of significance. So if I was going to sacrifice a comic, I wanted to make sure it wasn't anything that people would be like, wow, why would you waste your money on that and do that to the comic when somebody else may have wanted it? I seriously doubt anybody's going to be upset about this one. And if they are, well, there's nothing I can do about it. It's my comic. So one of the things I see all the time, like I said, on numerous videos from numerous channels over numerous years, and I was guilty of this when I was a kid, is I used to proudly display all of my comics on my walls. Now, if it's in a basement where there's no sunlight, not a problem. But I see so many videos where you could clearly see that they're in a room where there's a bunch of windows, and even with the shades down, UV, UV, ray, UV ray lights, say that ten times fast, will actually get in and saturate your comic. So if you've ever bought a comic or seen a comic on eBay where the colors are faded, 99% of the time, it's because of sunlight. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this comic, and it's going to be the sacrificial, sacrificial lamb, to show you over the months of what uh, the sun will do. And I'm going to take this comic. Today is, the, I believe, the 26th of May as I'm making this video. You probably will see it a couple of days after this date. But it's basically almost the 1st of June. So I'm going to put this comic outside and leave it to the elements for the entire summer. So you're going to want to stay tuned at the end of the summer when I show you the condition of this comic. Now, in this video, I'm also going to include a couple of snapshots I took of this comic so you could see how brightly colored this comic book is and see the dramatic difference in only three months, basically, of a comic being exposed to sunlight or anything, even pictures, they will disappear over time. So what I'm also going to do to prove another point, I am going to be placing it. This is a Mylar. This is a halfback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing this comic in a Mylar and I'm going to tape this completely shut and seal it up right before your very eyes. And I'm going to seal every part so this way weather cannot get in it. No moisture, no bugs or anything like that. So even the sides, I am going to completely tape. Actually, we'll do it this way. It makes more sense. So this way, nothing but sunlight is going to affect this. Because I want to show that, yes, Mylars are absolutely the best product when it comes to protecting your comics. But it is not a cure-all, end-all to protect your comics because if you do not store your comics properly, it does not matter what you store them in. So I'm going to show you that your extremely expensive Mylars are not going to do anything to prevent this comic from being faded. So... Now, as you can see, even on the sides and all the way across, it is completely sealed. So this is now in a Mylar with a halfback. And stay tuned for part two, which will be about three months from now. And uh, if you want to see the pictures, just continue from here. 
and uh, give it a thumbs up if you appreciate it. And especially leave a comment if you want to know what you think is going to happen to this comic. I wanted to make sure I got one that was incredibly bright. So you see like a neon pink Thor, very bright reds and yellows here. So this is a comic that you're going to see a dramatic transformation in the next couple of months. So it's going to take time for part two, but it'll be worth it and maybe make you think twice about exposing your comics to any form of sunlight. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the share button. Just don't hit the person next to you because it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And normally I do a zoom in, but I'm going to do it this way. Bring the comic to the camera. How's that for talent?